When a person is located between a display and an operating projector, a shadow is cast on the display. The shadow on the display may eliminate important visual information and therefore adversely affects the viewing experiences. We propose a new real-time approach to removing the shadow cast by a person who dynamically interacts with the display, making limb motions in a front projection system. Our method utilizes a depth camera to track a person who is a potential occluder for the display. Then, an unoccluded projector compensates for the brightness of the shadow region. Our method models the skeleton of a person using spheres and conical thrust stumps to represent the volumetric shape. The radius of each sphere is determined by iteratively reducing the value from initial radius until the smallest radius that contains all of the points in the point cloud is reached. Then, our method estimates the shadow region by projecting the volumetric model onto the display based on the intrinsic parameters of the projector and the extrinsic parameters between the camera and the projector. Without dummy pixels, the estimate shadow region is updated after the shadow is formed on the display region. Our method adds dummy pixels around the display region in order to handle the very moment of the person starting to step in the path of the rays from the projector. Although our method successfully identifies a shadow region, direct use of the detected shadow region as an intensity mask does not work well due to the unpredictable movements of a fast-moving person and the difference in the brightness of the projectors. At least a minimum latency of about 100 millisec is required to respond for the depth camera to the projector. In order to address this problem, our method creates an intensity mask based on a distance field. Based on the estimated shadow region, the linear distance field is firstly calculated. Since the distance from the projector to the person affects the shadow, the distance to the projector is multiplied to distance field. Then, the distance map is warped into the display coordinate. Finally, the intensity mask for each projector can be constructed based on the warped distance map and applied to the content. After the intensity masks are applied to the content, the viewers can see the shadow-free display.